Hello Reality, good morning and welcome to our touch points today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this ministry. Like we used to do to pick a topic to deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defined answers have been tackled. I have no doubt the Lord has taken care of your bodies in this platform. You just have to follow us through our various social media handles and watch the videos uploaded over 600 of them. Before you finish going through them, you must have discovered how much the Lord has dealt with your concern. Alright, we urge you to use the comment sessions for your testimonies and help us share these messages so then go better. The light has no need on that to share. God bless us to do so. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful Saturday. We thank you for all that days that you have been imparting us with your word. We ask that you do a new thing in our life this morning and we will be grateful to you always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. We are talking about assurance. And the question we are still dealing on is what difference will it make for me uh, today if I place my full assurance in God? What difference will it make? Now, let's see the scripture in Psalm 27 verse 3. It says, Though a mighty army surround me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident in, in God. Now, in Psalm 56 verse 9, On the very day I call to you for help, my enemies will retreat. This I know God is on my side. Yes. In Psalm 112 verse 7 to 8, they do not fear bad news. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. They are confident and fearless and can fear their foes triumph and can what? And, and fearless and can face their foes triumphantly. Praise God. In Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. Of course, if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, uh, your, your majesty. Praise God. In Colossians 2, verse 2, I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plans, which is Christ himself. Praise God. In, in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 to 5, for every child of God, um, every child of God defeats this evil world and we achieve this victory through our faith. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Victory assures you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, because of your assurance in God and in His promises, you can have confidence to face the challenges of life. And victory, I say it again, victory awaits you in the name of Jesus. If you believe that God can do it, you will succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. But if you know you are not born again and you want God to be your assurance now, Quickly confess him and say, Lord Jesus, I surrender myself to you this morning. Please save my soul from eternal hell and damnation. Write my name in the book of life and delete it from the book of death. Breathe upon me the breath of life. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Thank you for saving my soul. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Congratulations if you have prayed this prayer with me this morning. And I urge you to continue to fellowship with us here. The Lord has prepared these messages to equip you. This one thing to be saved, another thing to know what God wants you to bring this life. And I know in this platform, you will achieve that. Over time, you will see how much the Lord cares for you. God bless you and God grant you a beautiful weekend. I pray that this weekend will be fruitful for you. You will not labor in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.